Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 22 big money bolos coming your way. Items that I've picked up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook marketplace, um, big money. So what do I consider big money? So how I break my videos down is bread and butter is $35 or less and big money is $35 or more. But a lot of these items are 60, 80, 90, a hundred dollars. So, uh, there's one that sold for 200. So you're definitely going to see some bigger profit items as well. Um, I typically source pretty low, so I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And I'm just going to walk you through it and show you my bolos. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. It looks like I'm having some internet issues, so I apologize if it's skipping around a little bit. Sometimes my connectivity is not always the best. Um, I don't know why it does that. But anyway, let's get started with some big money bolos. All right. So the first item I sold, this vintage dollhouse miniature bathroom set. Um, I picked this up at an estate sale and this estate sale was awesome. I wish now, let me make sure I've got this up. I wish now that I would have done a haul video because I got so many bolos at this estate sale and it was kind of like, my husband's like, Hey, do you want to go to this estate sale? And I'm like, okay. And he got some stuff, but I cleaned up. Um, was, I was super excited. But anyway, I had this up for auction and somebody offered me a hundred dollars because I put best offer on my auctions sometimes. Um, I usually will only take a best offer if it's higher than my asking price. Um, so this was at $74.99. They offered me a hundred. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take it. Uh, if you get, if you do this and you have a bunch of offers that come in, Sometimes it'll tell you, okay, maybe I need to reevaluate how I listed this item. Um, there's another item that I'll tell you about here in a little bit that they, I also got a really high offer by putting best offer on my auction. Um, it has also not paid off before where I didn't take the offer and it was higher than my asking price and then it sold for my asking price. So it doesn't always work out, but in this case, I sold it for a hundred bucks. And the buyer was all in for $125.22. I got this at an estate sale for $7.50. I could not find any others like this with this cute little nautical print. Um, so anytime you can find dollhouse stuff that is printed or different, unique, definitely consider picking it up. It even has a, I think it's got a broken handle there. So the next item I sold is this doll, which... It just doesn't even look like it's proportioned right, but um, it doesn't have any eyes. I got it at a garage sale for five bucks. I don't know why I bought it. Yes, I brought it into my house. Everything was fine. It's not haunted. It's just a, a doll, a very old doll. Um, it's stuffed with straw, you guys. It's so old that the legs are stuffed with straw. Let me see if I can show you here. This is straw. Look it straw crazy um i ended up selling this for 59 dollars. the buyer was all in for 113.43 um the it's actually pretty big um and it was a bigger box so i wanted to protect it so i'm guessing that's why the shipping was so much um and then taxes depending on where they were but yeah garage sale five dollars this anna lee doll um the gloves are different colors. At first, I'm like, is that faded? But I think this is how it's made. Uh, this is one of the bigger ones. Anna Lee can do pretty well. They range from bread and butter to big money. This is a 17 inch. I got this at a garage sale for $1. I took a best offer of 50 and the buyer was all in for $58.55. The next item is this Chantilly Lane Cat Duet Christmas Singing Cats. Um, I could not find another one like this. Um, Chantilly Lane. I ended up taking a best offer of $95. The auction was about to end. They offered me $95, so I took it. I got it at an estate sale for $1. I think this was that same estate sale that I got the um, dollhouse thing from. Yeah. 
uh, 112.06, they were all in for. And then I have a video down in the description that people can click on to see exactly what this does. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. And that one sold first round of auction. Okay, so these locks and uh, these are locks. There's no keys. Somebody sent me a low offer on these. I, I want to say it was like 40 or $60. And I countered at 100 and they took it. Uh, the buyer was all in for $117.68. And I got these at a garage sale for $2.50. Now, people, it's probably a reseller that's buying this, honestly. Um, some of these are pretty cool, but I didn't have any of the keys. I don't know enough about them. I do have a video. It's called Locks and Keys. It's a Bolo category video where I break down. My Bolo category videos are where I break things down by category. That's why they're called category videos. But this one happened to be on Locks and Keys. And um, if you want to check out that video, you can. I've got tons of Bolo category videos. The next item are these little vintage Ensco Disney Princess Castle snow globes. They hold pictures. Um, I ended up selling this for $41.25. The buyer was all in for 40, mm. I'm sorry, $56.45. And I picked these up at a garage sale for 50 cents each. So I was actually surprised. They did pretty well. These McDonald's suspenders. So these are the ham burglar. This is what it looks like. I got this at an estate sale. The person worked at McDonald's, I think, for many, many years. I got a tons of advertising McDonald's stuff. Um, I paid, let's see, what did I pay for this? 50 cents, sold it for 45. The buyer was all in for 53.69. The next item, this one is kind of cool. It's, um, I was actually sh pretty shocked by the comps. It's a DMC Creative World Embroidery Floss Color Card Sampler. So it's actually floss on the inside so you can actually see the color, okay? Um, it's not just um, paper, dyed paper. You know, this is actually the thread. So it's a color card sampler. Pretty cool, right? I sold this for $37.50 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $47.74 and I got it at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. This express jacket, um, I retail arbitraged a bunch of these from a place called Discount Fashion Warehouse. Um, they are only in certain states. I know they're in Ohio. Um, I don't know. You'll just have to Google it. But if there is one near you, there is sourcing potential. Um, I picked this up. So what I would do is I would go in and I would fill up like the counter with stuff. And then I would take the total number of items that I got and divide it out by the cost of goods for the total on my receipt. And it ended up being around $3 per item. Now the blazers were actually, I probably actually paid six or seven for this, but that's just how I, how I calculated it. So I sold this for $46.87. The buyer was all in for $60.16. Now you guys are going to see here, this retails for $298. You guys, I only got $46.87 for it. So um, sometimes these can do better on Poshmark. That is why I definitely cross post clothing over to Poshmark. Um, Mercari, I like more for hard goods, but, uh, I mean, I may have been able to get 60 or 70 on Poshmark for this. Uh, but you know, more people are moving over to that platform from eBay. So that may be, uh, bringing down the market a little bit. I'm not sure. What do you guys think that those of you that sell on Poshmark, do you think that, um, prices are still saying staying high over there? Let me know in the comments. Um, I do cross post my items. I start on eBay and then I cross post to um, Mercari and Poshmark. And I use an extension called List Perfectly. And it's amazing. It's one of the best things I've done for my business because I can get things cross posted quicker, more eyes on your items. You guys have heard me talk about it. If you um, watch this channel, I talk about it all the time because I absolutely love it. Um, I do have a video down in the description that will show you exactly how I cross post. They have a catalog you can use and list into the catalog. But what I actually do is I put my items on eBay because eBay is my biggest and best platform. And then I cross post to the 
smaller platforms from there. That's just how I do it. Um, the video will show you how, it, how to do that. If you decide you watch the video and you decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month. Um, it's coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. But um, highly, highly recommend it. It's like it has changed my business. And I, I wasn't going to cross post originally. I was like, nope, not doing it. And then I manually cross posted 3,000 items after a friend of mine talked me into it. And then List Perfectly came along after I manually cross posted 3,000 items. It was like a nightmare, a nightmare. So List Perfectly is definitely huge for me because I've done it manually. All right. These vintage serendipity books are a big money bolo, you guys. Um, they don't look like much. Uh, when I ended up looking these up, I was like, are you kidding me? They go for that much? Um, this is what they look like. Uh, this is the second set that I've sold. This is what the back looks like. They are definitely um, vintage. And I sold these for $85, best offer. The buyer was all in for $99.78. Uh, I had about $3.25 cost of goods there. The next item is this coach diaper bag. You guys, this thing stuck around forever because I had it priced way too high. I just thought it was so cool and I thought it was rare and I thought it was a harder to find item and I priced it high just hoping that right buyer would come along. Well, they didn't. And somebody offered me 80 bucks and I'm like, yes, I'll take your 80 bucks. Uh, buyer was all in for 10304. It's a cool diaper bag. It had the original um cover, the bag cover there. So cute little ta tag that has the little diaper bag. I probably could have sold that separately for 30 bucks. These coach tags, you guys, are definitely a bolo. Um, great bread and butter item. So if you even if you just get those, if you get a purse and it's like a mess, you can sell the tags. The next item are these bats. This is another item that I'm like, this is going to be a huge bolo. I just thought they were so cool. Um, no, uh, I ended up selling them for $50 and the buyer was all in for $58.55. I don't know. I got them at a garage sale and I just thought that somebody is going to want these for a Halloween prop. Um, I even have a video down here. Let me show you. I mean, those are cool, right? So that's over on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you guys aren't following me over there, I test a lot of products and then I put them in my listing. Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> it auto played there. Um, I put it. Uh, I put the videos into my eBay description to show how the item works. And, you know, I do post a lot of videos over here of Bolo items like this little elf I just sold for $70. Um, I'm also doing working hangouts where I list live and you guys can come hang out. And I've got other reseller content over here as well. So definitely check out that channel. I've got videos where I've parted things out. This is my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Um, I, I've got different content over there. I don't think I showed you guys this already. This is my third video I've done tonight. So I'm like, did I already show this? If I did, I apologize. But definitely check out those channels. They are down, linked down in the description of the video. All right, so there's the coach bag. Here's the bats. Um, okay, so this um, also came from the same estate sale where I got the dollhouse stuff. I got a bunch of dollhouse stuff and a lot of it was older vintage items, but really well made. And I don't think they were ever used. Um, this one I paid five bucks for. It is a, uh, just like a little bookshelf. It's super, super cute, but it is from the Concord Liberty collection. It looks like this Liberty Bay. And I sold this for $43. The buyer was all in for $52.57. The next item I sold is this SpongeBob Lego set. You guys, this was at a garage sale. I remember there were a bunch of totes of toys and they're like, this, everything's small as 50 cents. This is a dollar. This is a quarter. You guys, I paid 50 cents for this. It was sealed. New old stock. 81.50 is what I got for it on best offer and it all in 95.64. That was a fun find right there. 
Okay, these pressed flowers, they are cabinet drawer or drawer pulls, handles, whatever. So there's this set and there is this set. And I decided to part them out, but the same person bought both sets. Um, I ended up taking 40 a piece. So the buyer was all in for 80 for both sets. Maybe I should have listed them together and put a higher price on it, but 80 bucks is good. I only had a dollar in it. I got them at a garage sale. So a dollar into 80, I'll take those margins. With shipping, they were all in for $101.88. All right, the next item I have here is this vintage scream mask. I got this at Goodwill for a dollar, you guys. I have footage on my YouTube channel. I think this is on this channel and it's got Halloween in the title. I went into the Goodwill. I don't normally go first thing in the morning. I went first thing in the morning and I got so many Halloween bolos. You guys have got to go check out that video. Um, I sold this for $90 and the buyer was all in for $104.75. This is the one with the tongue out. I've never sold this one. I have sold some others. I do really well with scream masks. Um, let me show you here. This is what you want to look at under the chin. If it says Easter Unlimited, those are going to do decent. If you find Fun World Division, those can do even better. Some of these go for three, four hundred dollars. You guys, there are major collectors out there that are looking for the Gen ones. Um, you can search YouTube for how to um, how to know the difference between scream masks. There's like measurements and certain shape of the nose and different things like that. But you can definitely check that out. This next is this vintage blow mold candy garland. This was at a garage sale in a tote. I paid like two bucks for it. And it's just a huge lot. Um, it was 49 feet total. I ended up selling this for $85. I took a best offer. I could have gotten more if I would have waited until probably now to sell it. But I paid a couple bucks, $85. I mean, those margins are great. The buyer was all in for 103.09. But the Blow Mold Candy Garland, definitely be on the lookout because it is a bolo. This is a Mr. Christmas musical holiday. Uh, it's It plays, it's like a music box kind of. I did not know that this was new old stock when I bought it. I just was at a garage sale. I saw Mr. Christmas. I was making a pile. And I think I paid $15 for the entire pile. I assumed this was used. I wasn't even sure if it was going to work. When I got home and saw that everything was new, I was like, oh my goodness. I listed it on auction for $99.99 and somebody sent me an offer for $200. So I was like, yes, I will take $200. And they paid. I couldn't believe it. At first, I'm like, is this just going to be like somebody who's not going to pay? They're just trying to get mine like out of the way. So it's not competition. I don't know. I didn't know what was going on, but they paid. Everything went well. And 200 bucks plus shipping. Um, this also came from the dollhouse estate sale, we'll call it. And it is a wood grandfather clock. And it actually has a little clock in it. It's uh, battery operated right up here. So pretty cool little piece. Um, I ended up selling that for $46.80. And the buyer was all in for $57.65. And I had about $10 in that one. And it still had the original box and instructions and everything. I don't think it was ever used. The next item is this vintage Marks Navarone playset. It is a long cannon replacement piece. I sold this for $39.60. The buyer was all in for $49.16. If you want to see more items that I sold from this playset, those are over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I have a whole video that shows you how I parted it out and what had sold so far at the time. I have sold a lot more items from that. This was actually one of the items that I brought to Primetime Treasure Hunters um, Thrift Battle. And you guys, I lost this round. So go check out that Thrift Battle and let me know if you think that I should have lost that round. I, I mean, I was like so confident that I was gonna win that round. Um, but anyway, it was a awesome deal. I was at a garage sale. I think I paid two or three dollars for an entire playset. It was missing some pieces. So I parted it out and huge money. I'll probably make between five and six hundred dollars off of everything. 
The next item I got at a garage sale for $2 and I sold this for a best offer of 40 and the buyer was all in for 49. Um, I had it listed at a hundred. It was on sale for 71.99. Somebody came in at 40 and I'm like, just sell it. Um, but these sequin and beaded tops can definitely be a bolo. Um, I usually pick them up. I've sold some dresses. They are kind of long tail unless you have something really special. Here's the tag. It's Judith Ann Creations. And I will say that vintage clothing does run small. So make sure that you put measurements down in the description if you're listing that. And make sure you put vintage in the title. Most people that are buying vintage clothing to wear, they know that it runs small and they probably know their vintage size. But just to be safe, um, cover your bases with measurements. All right, you guys, those are my 22 big money bolo items. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And put a, hmm, put a thumbs up down in the comments if you made it this far. And be sure to hit that thumbs up, like the video. And if you know somebody that you think might be interested, share it out. Thanks you guys so much. I appreciate you and thanks for watching.